Hey guys, Congresswoman Kat Kamak here. It is Tuesday, uh, January 11th, and we are officially back in Washington, back in session. I am out here on the balcony, as you can see, at uh, our Capitol. And if you look that way, you can see behind me, oh, you can see the uh, Washington Monument. Just a quick rundown of kind of what's on tap this week. Um, it is human trafficking day so as you can see i am wearing my my blue and got my blue shoes uh, huge huge issue that we all collectively need to be tackling not a republican or a democrat issue human trafficking is a human issue and uh, so we're we're really proud of all of our colleagues who are uh, taking a stand with us today in the fight against human trafficking um if you see my eyes watering it's because it is cold you can see my breath and uh, uh, for a Floridian uh, this is not normal weather so I uh, I'm gonna make this very short in addition to uh, human trafficking awareness month and then this being the official day uh, I just left a border security caucus meeting and we were chatting with the mayor of Yuma in Arizona as well as several of the Border Patrol um, uh, agents the situation is getting worse and under this administration we know that they are complicit in completing the trafficking circle that is created by the cartels the increased number of foreign nationals coming in uh, that is becoming more and more problematic we're seeing more and more associates of and known terrorists that are on international terrorist watch lists we know this is a problem and um, hearing directly from the mayor the the issues that they're facing with the strain on their healthcare system, uh, how it's working where people are flying in to Mexico City, then taking a, a puddle jumper to Mexicali, and then basically there's a new created, they called it in his own words, a bus stop. And a bus, they get on a bus from the airport, it takes them right up to the border, and from there, they then walk across the border. And um, it's, it's becoming, a bigger and bigger issue more and more foreign nationals this is beyond just the um the the perceived you know mexican honduran uh nationals that people think are coming across and that they absolutely are but we still have a problem when asked about the implementation or re-implementation of the remain in mexico program it's really in name only um we're hearing firsthand from the ground how it is not being implemented and that the administration is just talking about it they're not actually doing it so really really frustrating and uh here in about five minutes i'm about to head into a, a gop conference every week uh, each respective conference. So the Democratic Caucus meets every week and then the GOP conference meets every week. This is traditional. It's very um, normal and we kind of get a sense of what's going to happen for not just this week, but next week. For y'all's purposes, the thing that you need to know is that most of the action that you're going to be seeing here is in the Senate. Here in the House, uh, Nancy Pelosi um, is going to be doing a lot of messaging about the voter rights bill. I call it the For the Politicians Act. They are looking to federalize elections and all of that action is going to be in the Senate this week. So watch closely for Schumer uh, to really make a move on the uh, voting bill. And with, that is such a dangerous bill because very quickly, here's what they want to do. They want to make ballot harvesting permanent. They want to uh, allow non-citizens to vote. They want people to be able to register to vote without an ID. They want to uh, allow people to um, vote without proof of who they are and identification. And there's so much more that they want to do. But I think one of the most egregious things is the public financing of campaigns that they are pushing for. And by they, I mean the left, the Democrats. What that means is if you are a politician that is uh, making their money, uh, like most are, on small dollar donations, under $200 is classified as a small dollar donation. The public funds required to match those small dollar donations would be a six to one match. So that means that if AOC raises a million dollars in small dollar donations, 
we the people then have to do a six to one match on her small dollar donations. I don't know about you, but I have no interest in contributing to AOC's campaign. I believe this is a fundamental attack on our First Amendment rights because when we donate to a particular candidate, that is our First Amendment right. And so this bill is extraordinarily dangerous. It is designed for nothing more than to keep the liberal left in power because their agenda is, un it's all about dependency and control. So watch the Senate this week. There's not gonna be a whole lot of action happening in the House. Uh, we are here this week. And as I said, I'm standing out here on the balcony. You can see behind me some of the House office buildings. Um, I'll walk over here so you guys can see it and then I got to run. Also, my fingers are officially frozen and going numb because it is freezing and I'm not wearing a jacket. So let me flip this around so you guys can see. Part of what I want to do is really show you guys your nation's capital as much as possible, especially since it has been shut down. So right across the street here, this is the Library of Congress. I'm standing on the balcony here at the Capitol. And directly across here, that is your Library of Congress. And then directly catty corner right there, that is uh, the Madison Building, also part of the Library of Congress. And then of course, here are the office buildings. Right here is Cannon for all of uh, my Floridians in the 3rd Congressional District. That building right there, that is where uh, our office is, your office is in Longworth. And then uh, we have the Rayburn building over here. So this is the house side. And um, it's uh, really, really chilly up here. And uh, again, keep your eyes on the Senate. We'll keep you guys updated. Wanted to give you a brief update about what's happening uh, as it relates to the border. There'll be a lot more happening here in the next few weeks. A lot of you have asked about the BBB, the Build Back Broke Bill. As of right now, it's dead. It is, I wouldn't even say it's on life support. Biden and company are trying to figure out how to resurrect this bill and turn it into some kind of Frankenstein bill. We are being extraordinarily vigilant, extraordinarily um, uh, cognizant of what they are doing and what they are trying to do. So do not worry, we are on top of it. As of right now, they do not have the support. And the other thing, and I'll end with this, is the filibuster. If Schumer is not successful in being able to get the votes for his voter bill, the Democrat control voter bill, he is going to make a move to try to blow up the filibuster. And the filibuster is really the only thing standing in the way of um, having all this garbage, the defund police, the, the BBB, all that. That is what is standing in the way of the Democrats getting their way. Now, Manchin and Kristen Cinema have indicated they do not support blowing up the filibuster. Um, and what I will do, because I know this is so much inside baseball stuff, I'll do a whole video on exactly what the filibuster is, why it's so important, and what abolishing it would do. And I'll take your questions about it. We'll do a video specifically on the filibuster. But wanted to check in with you guys. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Yes, I still say Christmas, and I don't care if that's politically incorrect these days. I say Merry Christmas. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas with your families and that your new year is off to a start that is fantastic. So now that my fingers are frozen, I'm gonna go in, head to my meeting. I appreciate you guys. Stay tuned and uh, drop comments here on this video for any future videos on issues that you want us to cover, be it mandates. Also, um, I can't show you because it's around the corner, but the Supreme Court is still meeting on the OSHA mandates. So we'll also be covering that as well. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. God bless. Take care.